Hello students, welcome to this another edition of Physics in 5 Minutes. Today we are going to take a very very important concept of thermodynamics which we call as polytropic process. This is basically not a single process, it can be used to describe many types of expansion and compressions involving heat transfers. Here we will be concerned only with the ideal gas system and this topic is very crucial for you in your all examinations for example JE Advanced, NEED, JE Mains, KVPY, BITSIT in all exams these questions come. So let's begin. A polytropic process is a thermodynamic process that obeys this equation PV to the power X is constant where P is the pressure of the gas, V is the volume of the gas and X is called polytropic index. So any process which is following this PV to the power X is constant that is known as an apolytropic process and since we are talking of an ideal gas, ideal gas means it will always follow PV equal to nRT. By ideal gas ka matlab hi hai PV equal to nRT aap laga sakte ho. Hence equivalently using these two we can express this PV to the power X also in terms of TV as TV to the power X minus 1 is constant or P1 minus XT to the power X is constant. So for us all three equa the equations are equivalent if we are talking of the ideal gas. Now because it is an ideal gas just remember this polytropic is not a single process it can describe many expansion many compression for example if I put x equal to 1 they get x equal to 1 karte ye PV constant that means it will represent an isothermal process if I put x is equal to 0 then PV to the power 0 that means pressure is constant it will be an isobaric process if I put x is equal to gamma which is you can say Cp by Cv then it represents an adiabatic process similarly if I have as x is equal to infinity sort of thing it will be isochoric so it can describe many processes that is for sure so you can use it like this so whenever you get a process in this form we will say it is a polytropic process now in such a process what is the work done if I calculate using integral PDV I get the value of work as nr delta t upon 1 minus x delta t represents t final minus t initial I can write it as nr delta t as delta PV for ideal gas I can write it as P final minus P initial V initial upon 1 minus x it is similar to the formula you learn for adiabatic work it's same you represent gamma by x. Inter energy change because it is an ideal gas you can always write NCV delta T by ideal gas dikte hi chipkana hota delta U is NCV delta T. Therefore kitna heat transfer hua hai what is the amount of heat transferred you can write it as Q is equals to delta U plus W. So writing Q as NC delta T where by C I means molar heat capacity for this process I can write NC delta T as NCV delta T plus NR delta T upon 1 minus x. So uh, using this if I take the ratio of Q is to delta U is to W or I can directly write C from here first I can write C as CV plus R upon 1 minus X I can directly write this so for any process jo bhi ye polytropic one may satisfy kar raha hai, if you can find this PV to the power X constant or TV to the power X minus 1 constant or this PT terms if you can identify X you can directly say the heat capacity molar heat capacity for this process is C is CV plus R upon 1 minus X there are many questions in Erudo which are solved directly by using this otherwise you will take more time by actually integrating using the first law so you can save your time by this thing also uh, from these equations it's quite clear I can write Q is to delta U is to W the ratio of these three terms is the ratio of these three terms which I have written here so these three terms will be give you the ratio for example this one C CV R upon 1 minus X even I can make out by the sign if all three are positive one term is positive other two will be positive two are positive one is negative you can say let's say if this is plus plus minus sort of thing it means if Q is positive delta U will be positive and the temperature will increase but work will be negative that means the volume will decrease so these kind of uh, observations you can make we will learn more about them in the tomorrow's session where we will be taking some actual IIT questions based usually on usually you see in the books uh, you will get this PV curve drawn like this something like this I'm not drawing anything because the shape of the curve will be decided by the value of x. It, pressure could be proportional to v, it could be inverse to v, it could be increasing with v, it could be decreasing with v, it depends on the value of x. So there's no point in drawing such a curve but just for reference if I draw this and let's take it this point as minus v, uh, this v naught p naught. So what I can write slope equals dp by dv dy by dx like dp by dv. So taking the Q out from the adiabatic process I can directly write here also like minus gamma P by V here I can write minus X P by V. So at this particular point if I have to write the slope M I can write it as minus P naught by minus X P naught by 
V naught. Now, slope will be positive or negative or what it would be. I am writing it clearly. It could be positive, it could be negative depending on the value of x. If x is negative, slope is positive. If x is positive, slope is So that negative. is the session for today. Tomorrow we'll be coming up with questions. Stay tuned. Keep sharing the channel. Keep subscribing it. Thanks for watching once again.